Hey, hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the sum of digits of a number in C++. So let's get right into the program. So currently I have some header files and an int main function. So first, let's basically just input the number from the user. So it's going to be int n and it's going to be, we'll put C out entire number, okay. And I enter and next C in of n, okay. So, we will be we need to find the sum of numbers so basically we will declare int sum equal to zero okay and we will have a temporary variable digit or dag okay it will be digit itself okay so that's good so i'm going to use here a while loop because i want to repeat this process continuously until that uh enter number becomes zero okay so that's why i'm using a while loop and the number n i'm going to iterate i change the number to break down the number this by this the ones place tens place and thousands place and I, I hope you will understand when you complete the code okay so void of n so first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the first digit of a number so for example if a number is one two three i want to get three okay that's what i need to do first i need to separate three first i need to separate two first i need to separate one first and add it okay so not like that i'm just saying it out how it works but in uh, implementation it will work as i will separate three first add it with sum so sum will be three so the number will be 12. I will remove the 3, okay? I will remove the 3. So the number will be 12. Again, I will separate 2. So number will be 2. I will add it with sum. Sum is 3, 5. So I will separate 2 and number, the remaining number will be 1. I will add it with the sum. Sum is 5 as 2 plus 3. So I will, so I will get the output as 6 and the number becomes 0. Now nothing will be there. So this is like basic algorithm that we are going to use here. So first, how to get this 3? So the simplest way to get the ones place number is by using modulus of 10. Okay, any number you will perform modulo of 10. So if I just do modulo of 10, so for uh, don't know what is modulus, modulus just returns the remainder. Okay, so for example, if I do if uh, 5 mod 2 returns 5 mod 2 is equal to 1 because 4 is divisible and it is the remainder, and 5 mod 3 returns 2 because uh, 3 ones are 3, so 2 will be the remainder. So that's basically what the modulus does, and in our case. Our modulus will be 3, 123 mod 100 will be 3 because 120 is divisible by 10 and we will get the number as 3. Okay, so we will just convert that piece of thing, that thing into code. So I will type it also 123 uh, mod 10 equal to 3. Okay, that's good. So here what we will do. So this 3 will be stored, we will store this 3 in our temporary variable digit. So digit is going to be digit equal to n mod 10. Okay. And next thing, I, as I told you earlier, after separating, we need to find the sum immediately. So sum equal to sum plus digit. Okay. So we have done two things. We have found the sum. We have removed three. Okay. Now our uh, sum is equal to three. Okay. Our sum equal to three. Okay. That's good. So we have done two steps. So we need a third more step. What's the third more step as I told you earlier? We need to remove three. Okay. So for that, what we need to do? Okay, uh, just think it's very simple. Okay, if you found it, you are really good. And if you haven't, I will no problem. So for removing the last digit, the best way is 123 divided by 10. Okay, so you don't need to confuse these both are completely different. Okay, modulus 10 and slash 10. Modulus 10 gives the remainder, slash 10 gives the quotient. So that's the main difference. So now if you divide it by 10, you will get the quotient as 12. So by this way, you have separated three. As you can see, a three is gone. Okay, so this works for everything. Slash ten. This is like uh, general command. So one twenty three slash ten will give you twelve. So by this way, I've removed three. So that's successful. So and another one thing that doing the next iteration also, we need to pass twelve. Okay, we 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 aren't so going to pass one twenty three because we have just got three. It doesn't make any sense if we are going to again pass one twenty three. So we need to pass 12. So for that, what we need to do, we need to assign the number itself. So it's going to be n equal to the number equal to number slash 10. That's going to be our new number uh, having the last digit removed. So it's going to be n equal to n slash 10. Okay. So this com uh, this condition basically can be n greater than 0. Okay, it can be greater than 0 or n. It can be anything for easy, uh, easy, easy to understand. I will put n greater than 0. So this is basically the command itself. So I will just then final thing is see out sum. That's it. So this is a code over here. So I will explain you what happens after 12. So this is doing the first one. Okay. First iteration. And now doing the second iteration. Okay. So n value will be 12. 
Okay, I hope you can understand. N equal to N slash 10. So, N equal to 123 slash 10. So, 12 will be getting stored in the form of N. And again, while, while N 12 is greater than 0, so condition is true over here. So, digit equal to N mod 10. So, this is for the second condition. Okay, so our digit equal to N mod 10. So, our digit equal to represent as D. D equal to N, N, our N here is 12. So, 12 mod 10. So, this will give us 2. And next thing, our sum was 3, sorry. Our sum was 0 plus 3 over here. So, it is equal to 3. And so, our sum, this will get as sum equal to sum plus 2, sum plus a digit. So, our sum already here is 3. So, it is 3 plus 2, our sum is going to be 5. And our n equal to 12 slash 10. So, last step as I told you, it is used to remove the last digit. So, it is going to be 1. As I told you, quotient 10, okay, it is going to be 1. So, new number is going to be 1. So, the third iteration, it checks for n, uh, n greater than 0. That condition is obviously true because 1, 1 is greater than 0. And it's going to find 1 equal to, sorry, digit equal to 1 mod 10. So, 1 mod 10, actually the value is 1 because uh, 1 is not going to be divisible. So, 1 mod 10 is going to be 1. And next thing is sum equal to. So, this as I told you, the sum was already 5. So, it's going to be 5 plus 1 which is going to be equal to 6. So you have got the sum basically. So here now our loop has to terminate. So for that n equal to 1 slash 10. Okay. So 1 slash 10 returns 0. Okay. Because we can't divide. It's not going to do anything. It will come in case of decimal. Uh, if you have a floating point number, it will come 0 0.1. But here we are basically dealing with everything is an integer. So it's going to be 0. It's going to, be, it's going to be in the form of integer. So it's going to be 0. And now our n is 0. So now the while loop checks for n greater than 0 that is 0 greater than 0 and condition fails over here and the loop terminates. So that's the basic practice that's why we are using while loop. You can even use for loop uh, but you can use for loop. For loop you can put i equal to 0 and I think for loop it can't basically it's just really tricky to give the condition over there. It's really hard to judge how many times the loop will run and stuff etc. You need to find the length of the digit for counting the number of times the loop is going to run. So it's like difficult. So basically, while loop is perfect for this. Okay. So that's the that's the steps. Okay, for this. So now if I just run this code and show you, it's basically commented. So there's no issue. So I'll just execute compile and run it. So enter a number. I will put one two three itself. So I'm getting six. So I will just change the number. Some other number. So let us put. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How much should the output come? 3. I'll put 0 also. It's not, not, not issue. 6, 10, 15, 21. Output should, output should be 21. So I'm waiting 21. So that's it. We have found the program to run some of this. It's a really simple code actually. Only this simple three uh, lines of code. Not even the while loop. While loop is just a basic thing. Only these three lines. Simple. So suppose if you want to retain the digit, okay, you need to retain the number, okay, because our number n becomes finally 0, okay, you can just store uh, int temp equal to n, okay, here, so by this way we can restore our uh, uh, number that we have entered, the number will be stored in the form of temp, so, so that's good, so that's it, that is for the video, we have successfully found the sum of digits present in a number and my it's a programming channel, do check my other videos of my channel. I run tutorials in C, C, Java, Python, Blender, Unity. So please subscribe and support me and thanks for watching.